Hey everybody, it's NickyV97 and this is part 33 on the walkthrough on Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. In this episode, we are going to head out to the phone booth. Oh, hello. Gonzalez! Good timing, you pudgy little punk. Uncle Rockhawk's got some advice for you. If you keep stealing the spotlight from me, you're going to enter a world of hurt. Quit making such a splash if you value your beauty life. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Eh, I think I can see him. Yeah, you better keep walking, you punk chicken. You hear me talking? Hey, wait. I think... Oh, you think that idiot sent that hate mail? Maybe. That doesn't matter. Guess so. somebody hates us, so we better watch our steps. Might as well go ahead and save really quickly, because we got all my footage saved and all that jazz. And out to the pavilion we go. I wish that they would have brought the spin boost thingy over from Paper Mario 1. I think that that would have been really handy. Oh well. But yeah, we got posters, because we're better than, like, half of everybody here. Yeah, we're awesome. Alright, so, the phone booth out in front of the pavilion was over here somewhere. I think right in front of the flower shop. Yep. A key! A storage room in the glitz pit. Huh? Sheesh, another male. We're popular. Go to the storage room next to Gl Grubba's office from X. What the heck is this guy's problem? The storage room? I mean, does he think we need the exercise? This dude is really cheesing me off. Cheesing you off. I have never heard anybody say anything like that outside of Bender. And he didn't even say it like that. He said, Chase it! And then he ran. But cheesing me off. Hmm. Weird. Okay, so we have to go to the other thing. The storage room. Not right now, so. Now, what's weird is there's a. Wait, yeah. So, you're telling me you have no idea who got inside. What do we pay you for? I'm awfully sorry, Miss Julian. I heard a noise in there and I couldn't find anything. <laughs> Fine, you leave the rest of the matter to me. Go back to your post and listen to me carefully. Do not ever tell anyone of this, or I'll have your job. I, uh... You, Mr. Gonzalez, this is highly inappropriate. What business do you have? What, so I can't walk around here? Please, I must ask you to stay out of places where you have no business being. Is she gone? Okay, let's do exactly what she did not tell us to do. Whoa, that's kind of cool. Now you can do that. All right, storage key open. Ooh, what secrets lie in here? Hi, Miss Mouse. Oh, hmm. we meet again, you husky mustached hunk you. Are you a friend of Gonzalez? I didn't know he hung out with crooks, and you look like one. Security was talking about noises in here. Did you make noise while you stole stuff? Oh, please, no one heard me. I'm the best mouse burglar of all time. I'm silent. You know, you might be less noisy if you didn't wear stilettos. I'm just saying. It's quite obvious that someone else must have been monkeying about here. Well, oh, whatever, lady. You, but you are a thief, right? Hush. All you need to know is I've taken what I need, and now I'll be on my way. As for the rest, help yourself to whatever you like. Hmm. And now we must part again, my sweet mustache man. That was called a kiss. I heard about those things. I'm jealous. Oh, you get it? Yeah, because I'm lucky like that. Oh, I almost forgot. This arena holds many secrets, you know. You should be very careful, lest you end up like those poor souls upstairs. Uh, do I now? And with that, goodbye, my delectable hunk of cheese. We shall meet again. Doesn't seem like the thiefy thing to do. Just walk out the door like that. <laughs> I gotta get me one of those. Anyway, somebody upstairs. Uh-oh. What's this? Find the staircase switch to reach the attic. From X. The staircase switch? How the heck could there be a staircase in here? Hmm. Well, it doesn't look like there's anything in here. Can't jump up from there. So I guess that's where this game will end, because we can't go any further. But, actually, you get Flurry out. And I honestly never would have guessed this before, but look at that. Hmm. Pay the joke! Number one million and two. 
Alright, so let's head up here. I think we're gonna need gulp. First. No, crush! Gosh, I, I got that spiral thing stuck in my head now. Now I keep wanting to call him that. And, ooh, shine. And a uh, big effing thing, so what you want to do is... Oh, no! Why do I have so much trouble with Crush's jumping thing? No! Stop that! Oh, yeah, yo, I am not liking this. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, there we go, finally. Okay, come on, and boom. I'm going to get that badge while we're here. Even though I may never use it, HP plus partner badge. Let's go down here. Oh, I might as well go on you because you're faster. Whoa. Huh. There's a hole. Now let me go back up here. Okay, maybe I have to go this way? Hmm, that's needlessly roundabout. Wait, is there anything over here? No, okay, oh well. So... Oh, well that was utterly pointless. Alright, well, what about in here? Do I have the door that? What the heck? What do I do now? Hey, let me let me check something. Find the steer. Okay, I did that. What now? Hmm. Oh, there we go. You have to be standing over the exact spot that you need to be. So you didn't find hot no hair of nobody in the storage room. That what you're saying? Yes, Mr. Grubba, it appears to be secure. Don't worry about it, sir. I've taken the necessary precautions. It is most likely a rat, just a rat or something. You have no idea how right you are. <laughs> well, no big deal either way. Ain't nothing in there we'd miss too much anyway. Thanks for staying on top of this, Julian. And by the way, any word on King K? I'm afraid we still don't know his whereabouts of King K, Mr. Grubba. And so I deleted his spot on our roster per regulations. The glitch pit no longer has any connection with KP Pete, aka King K. I of course I have of course taken the same steps with all the fighters with Darkness and Oof, I just sure have been going missing a lot lately. That's a vip this year. What in donation is going on? I even heard some security agent saying the pit's cursed. I doubt that, sir, but I certainly don't understand the disappearances. Well, for the time being, tell the other fellas King K headed on home for a spell. If word gets out that we're about missing fighters, it sure ain't gonna be good for business, no sir. Hey, nasty rumors have a way of sending folks running for the hills, know what I mean? I understand completely, Mr. Grubb. I'll take care of everything, sir. You know, Jolene, you're a dang fine manager, but you just plumb disappears sometimes. I gotta know, where in the world do you go, darling? Uh, that... Mr. Grubb, I know you're my boss, but I don't believe that's any of your concern. Easy, didn't mean to pry now, but... About this then, heard of a crystal star? No, I I've never heard of such a thing. Why didn't? Okie doke. Well, I appreciate your time, Miss Jolene. You go on ahead and run along now. You hear? Okay, here's my question. Why did the thought bubble pop up with the exclamation mark instead of the little red one that pops up whenever that sort of thing happens? No. Oh. Well, if this ain't a fine, how do you do? Seems like good fighters are a dying breed. That wild child Gonzalez is just about the only draw I got around here. Yeah, we're awesome like that. Whoa, Gonzalez! Whoa, did you hear that? Fighters are going missing, dude. That ain't cool. Is that guy talking about King K, the minor leaguer? I thought he retired. Whoa, and uh, hey, thanks, Zealand, spooking me. Hey, somebody up there? Meow. Whew, man, this little old kitty. You ain't thinking somebody's a peeping. Gotta relax. Six of yoga class. Yep, well, back to the ring. La -di -da -di -da. <laughs> whoa, whoa, man, we dodged a bullet there. Hey, did you hear that guy babbling about the crystal star? That Jolene lady acted pretty guilty when he let that one slip. 
Well, whatever. For now, we better bail before someone finds us up here. Who is going to find us up here? Okay, the security door, or the door is locked on this. Well, actually, not really. I kind of unlocked it. Yeah, I guess we do have something to worry about. But who's checking the ventilation system? Really? That seems kind of uh, weird. And why didn't this guy notice me coming out of there? He's staring straight at it. Ugh. Game. Continuity would be nice. Okay, so I guess we'll go ahead and move on through the matches. Next up, Hammer, Bama, and Flare, rank number three. Um, so, apparently in this fight, I am the only one who can attack. Uh, do I need to rest? No, I don't think so. Alright, so, match time. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, Hammer, Bama, and Flare. I cannot remember for the life of me what that's a reference to, but, oh, okay. And, uh, <laughs> my grandpappy's hammer is going to strike you down, man. Here it comes. Your grandpappy's hammer? That'd make it pretty old. Do you think that it will just won't break on impact? Alright, so, here's what we got. Here's what we're looking at. We have a... Hammer Bro, a Boomerang Bro, uh, hang on, let me see here, Hammer Bro, Fire Bro, and Boomerang Bro, so, I'm gonna start off with a Quake Hammer so I can hurt them all, oh yeah, that, that's not great, um, I guess a Peel with Crush, oh, dang, owie, the heck? Oh! This is not good. Oh my goodness. Whew! Lucky. And I'm dead. So, um, in the glitz pit, thankfully, you don't like game over when you lose um you just like well we saw what happened in um that first fight or not, not, the fight against the armored harriers you don't die like you don't get a game over you just lose the match so let's go ahead and try that again uh let's see here not attack for th dude that's how i lost the last one <sighs> and i can't wait to level up and fix this stupid HP problem that I have. <sighs> Alright. Well, we're already running high on time. I guess this is going to be the last thing in this episode. So. Alright, match time. Here we go. Move you. Now, he doesn't move, like, ever. Like, everybody else moves, but nobody else... But not him. Hmm. Kind of weird. Alright, so... I have to not attack for the first three turns, and sorry about that noise, my dog just walked through here. Alright. Don't attack in the first three turns. Hmm. You know what? I am going to put, uh, Coops out in front, and then appeal. Wow, that didn't really do much. Oh, I was able to get that pretty good. Alright, next up, I'll do a shell shield. Because that's not technically an attack. And I'll also appeal. Ooh, dang. Oh, well, there went the shell, but... Oh well. And then on this turn, I will defend. And, uh, I guess Mario will too. Come on. Oh wow, I did really good on that turn. Okay, now it's time for you all to die. Oh, sweet, stylish. 
and then Earth Tremor, you all die. Come on, I gotta get this. Ah! Oh, well, that at least gets me a pretty good bit of damage. Oh, one more and I would have been done. Dodge against all of those. Dude. Why did they all get, like, so many attacks? That was bull. Okay, well, I'm gonna end this with a quake hammer to the face for all of you! And we get 21 star points and a level up. Couldn't have come at a better time. Because I need some HP. I've been... I don't think... I've leveled up 8 times now in this LP. And this is only my second HP boost. I guess I'm... I don't know why I'm doing that. I'm gonna probably imp improve my HP a little bit later on. You did it, Mario. Wow. Okay. Well, glad we got that out of the way. Whew. 14 coins, rows of 3. Excuse me, I must be going. Okay. What's next? Yep, email. This is your last warning. Stop snooping around about the Crystal Star. If you don't, you'll suffer the same fate as the others who have gone missing. Oh, goody, this guy again. He really seems to know a lot of stuff. Those missing fighters, the Crystal Star. You know, if we find this guy, we'll have all our answers. But who could it be? Well, I don't know, but we'll find out in the next episode. So, this has been NickyV97 saying thanks for watching and stay tuned for part 34 more walkthrough on Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. I'll see you guys later.